gonna do? Hold on a minute, but just having a couple of technical difficulties on the YouTube side of things. So just bear with me one minute. Sorry, I could have sworn I put that on silent. Clearly I didn't. Um so we are on vlog a hundred and thirty-two. And I haven't been here for I think about two weeks, I do believe. Um, and that is because everything has been crazy, crazy busy. Um, literally really busy. And I don't know what's going on with YouTube, so we may have to post this later. I'm really sorry. Um, hopefully it'll kick in in a minute. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, so it's all been really mad. So much has been happening and I honestly, I have been so tired and not able to come online, um, to come live. Um, so what has been happening? Well, well, what has been happening? Um, so first of all, my auntie fell over and she broke her foot. So I helped look after uh, the child that she's looking after for a week. Hello, Amy. How are you? Hope you're well. Have you been good? Enjoying your summer holidays? I suppose you're on, you've left school, so you're not really on summer holidays. It's just holidays. Maybe. I'm not sure. Let me know. Can you hear me okay? That's another thing we have trouble with. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, Auntie did that. So, I spent a week there looking after the child. Um, and, obviously, I wasn't able to go live that week because I was in a different location. Obviously, all my equipment is at home. So, that was the first week. The second week... I wasn't able to go live because I had to go to hospital. Um, where did I go? Um, 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 I can't remember where I went. Yeah, I want to say Guildford, but it wasn't. Haywards Heath, that's where I went. I went to Haywards Heath. Oh, Amy's put, we went to the beach. Wow. I haven't had time to go to the beach. I'm really missing the beach. Mega soul. I will plan to get there soon. Um... So, yeah, I had to go to hospital and that was for nerve ending tests uh, in my neck and in my, basically going down to my arm because I get loads of neck pain and it goes down to my little finger and your ring finger and they both go numb and I get loads of cramping, loads of pain and it makes me drop stuff, etc. But the pain in the neck gets so severe that I can't actually move it. Um, so it's really bad when it flares up and that's the other thing it flares up it goes down it flares up etc it's so frustrating so so frustrating but hopefully we'll find what is causing that that would be amazing um, so it's just wait and see kind of thing at the moment um, and then obviously this week I was going to come on yesterday uh, Amy's put, yeah, I can hear you. Brilliant. Glad you can hear me. That's always a good start. Um, yeah, so, um, what's I saying? Yesterday. Oh, my God. Amazing day yesterday. Um, I met a lady uh, to do an interview with. And it just came about that my mother-in-law saw a post about her driving a scooter, getting abused on her scooter she's quite young like myself um and so i bit the bullet and i contacted her and i say i bit the bullet because you may think oh she's confident she's on camera etc i'm not let's just get that right i'm not confident i do get nervous i do get panicky and that's whether i'm visiting a location doing an interview or doing the live vlog um it all makes me really anxious why? Because I get anxiety anyway. Um, I worry about people judging me um, and I stutter a lot, um, especially when I'm really nervous. You probably notice that in some films. Once I relax and I get into it, I do calm down, stuttering gets better. But it's one of them things and for me, um, I I want to put myself out there 
because I do want to help others like myself, obviously. Um, that's why I'm doing that. But, you know, it still is a bit scary. It is scary. But I have noticed over, what, this is my third year. I can't really count last year because of COVID. But my confidence is slowly building. Um, it just takes time. It just takes time. Everything takes time. Yeah, so that is what's been happening. It's been absolutely crazy. So anyway, as I was saying, I was meeting this lady who I met via Facebook and we met up and it was quite funny because we were both nervous and once we met and started talking, we both relaxed. It was so, so nice. And we had a good old chinwag. Love it. And I met her husband and it turned out that I managed to do a double bubble interview. I got two interviews in one type thing. Um, and they're amazing people and I can't wait to release it. That will be coming out at the end of the month. It will be last Thursday of the month. Not 100% sure what date that is but I will let you know obviously. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do them both together or do a part one and a part two. Um, obviously, I'll decide that closer to... I only did it yesterday, so I've still got to edit it. I'm going to see how I get on and hopefully might get to out of it. Not sure. But when you watch it, I think people will really enjoy it. Like all the other interviews, um, it's really informative. It's about different conditions that we haven't yet spoken about. Um, so I think it's going to be really good. Um, and what you have to remember is, like myself, other people who are coming on to do the interviews do get nervous. It takes a lot of courage to come and talk in front of a camera, whether that's live, pre-recorded, whatever. It takes confidence. Never mind talking about your illness. So the people that come forth to me to talk about their conditions, I'm so grateful and you know a massive pat on the back it's achievement just to be able to do that um so yeah i feel like i'm waffling i'm really sorry but i do want to put that out there that you know everyone that does an interview with me you're amazing and thank you thank you um and if you are watching this now and thinking oh, i wouldn't mind talking about my condition sharing it please contact me whether that's on messenger uh email um just comment down below under the video contact me and i'll get back to you and we'll organize an interview and it's so important i feel um because when we're talking about all these different conditions everyone has a different condition they're not all the same and that sharing that with other people who may have the condition or maybe just starting their journey, learning about their condition. And it's nice to know that someone out there has your condition or something similar and you're not alone. You're not alone. And there's people out there and you can connect with them. And like yesterday when I met these two lovely people, um, we have not stopped talking since. And it's nice because I've built a friendship with them now. And hopefully that'll be a long-lived friendship. And that's one of the brilliant things about doing this as well. You get to meet new people and make new friends. Um, so, yeah, absolutely love it. So, remember, if you want to contact me about doing an interview, do it. It's an amazing feeling at the end of it. You feel really, like, good about yourself because you actually achieved it. Um, and, yes, it is a big step but it's so worth doing so rewarding so like i said just contact me i don't bite i promise i have illnesses as well um i suffer with panic attacks and stuttering and everything so yeah just do it contact me um also want to say if there's any places that you'd like to visit but you're not sure about and i haven't done a review on it yet contact me again um let me know where that place is um and i'll look into seeing if i can go and visit there to share with you and others what it's like what to expect how accessible it is that's visually and 
um, you know, physical uh, and invisible disabilities. It's not just about the disabilities that you can see, it's the hidden ones as well. So that's really important as well. Um, I have been to go and visit a few places. Obviously, um, we have to be careful because I get tired and I'm in a lot of pain, so we have spaced them out. And uh, we've got a few, a uh, couple more booked in as well, which I'm really looking forward to. So there's lots coming up, and uh, the reviews, as the other thing I wanted to talk about, obviously where I haven't been on for a couple of weeks, I haven't released any reviews. I'm really, really sorry about that. It is going to happen, unfortunately. Like I said, I've been really busy, um, tired and in pain as well. So, and it's also sometimes getting the products. I'm, I don't get paid for anything that I do. I'm not sponsored, nothing like that. I do do it all off my own back. So sometimes I am unable to afford to buy the product to do the review on. Um, hopefully that's going to change a little bit. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, but I did a post on the Little Hampton Shop Mobility, um, which was also amazing. Um, Mandy Duffin, hi, I have only just found you. Hello, yeah, we're having technical difficulties on YouTube. Not sure what's happening there. I am going to try and sort that out afterwards, but at the minute I'm just going to concentrate on here really sorry so yeah we went to shop mobility and um that's making a noise oh sorry sorry so sorry about this so um what was i saying um so i went to shop mobility we did this massive um Oh, short film about what the shop mobility offers, what they have uh, to rent out and what they sell. Um, they, the product side of things, they're struggling that minute because they have, um, the suppliers are struggling getting products in to give to the shop. So they are limited on that, but I have managed to get a couple of products that I'm going to do reviews on, which is amazing. Um, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, and there are more things in the pipeline to come from their fire the shop mobility. So make sure you go and watch that. Check it out. I'll leave the link after this live underneath so you can check it out. Um, it's really good. We're fortunate. Um, yeah. Uh, so I think I've covered everything. I hope I've covered everything. Um trying to think my brain's rattling on how are you all dealing with this heat because oh my goodness i am struggling i am really struggling with this this heat it, it's, it's too hot too hot to sleep too hot to rest and some people say that heat helps with their pains and aches i'm i'm finding it's making them worse i'd love to know your comments on that whether it, makes them worse or if it helps i'm curious about that um yes yeah, so let me know so there's my little catch up so sorry i haven't been on but i'm back now and hopefully monday i will be back on monday um i will be able to leave a post out to let you know oh the other thing there was one more thing one more thing that i'll let you all go i promise so oh no there's two I'm bugger today, aren't I? So there's two things, right? Okay, so the first thing, glasses. Oh my goodness. So obviously you guys know that I have dyslexia and I struggle sometimes with reading and writing. Went for my glasses appointment, yearly appointment. And um, yes, I've had to change the, what are they called? Um, Doobly flips, um, lenses. Yeah, they're changing them, which is fine. I've gone for new style glasses, which you should see soon. And um, but I said about because obviously I'm doing computer work um, for my editing, and I said that the wires move around and I'm really struggling. Is it my eyes? Cause I've got a left like left lazy eye, and they're like, no, no, that's your dyslexia. So I'm like, okay, what can I do for that? And they're saying about blue overlay. 
Now I had one of these in school and I do remember it working really well and when I before I got ill I was doing my MVQ for nursing I used to use it for that. Why didn't I think of that? Oh so now I'm on the hunt to get a um blue over overlay for the screens on the computer. My goodness, they cost a few pennies, so I won't be getting one just yet. Have found that you can change screen colour via internal computer settings, which is helping, but I do think that the blue overlay may help better. So I'll keep you updated on that. Let me know if you use one. It'd be quite interesting to know. Uh, Mandy Duffin has put, he did use to help, but now just makes me feel better. So the, the heat used to help with your pain, but now it just makes you feel mentally better or still helps with your pain? I'm confused. So let me know in that comment. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to pick up glasses this week. There was a bit of a misunderstanding with the lenses when I tried to pick them up last week, but hopefully that will be sorted out and I can pick them up. So that would be good, like towards the end of the week, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and yes, mentally better. Yeah, I do find that the sun helps mentally, which mm, pick you up a little bit, doesn't it? Compared to the winter, where it's all miserable, makes you feel miserable. Um, but sometimes in the heat, makes me, I don't know, not angry, but mm, I suppose angry. No, not angry. Frustrated. I'm too hot. Too hot to do anything. Does that make sense? Um, but I guess we all just try and manage our different ways. Like usually, for example, I'll use the heat mat for my neck or my ribs or my tummy, depending on what's hurting more. I've only got one, so I have to share it. Short-tempered, yes, short-tempered. Um, but obviously in this heat, if you try to use that, oh my goodness, it's like being a baked potato in an oven. So you can't really do that. And I thought I'll try the, um, what's the other thing called? I've lost my brain somewhere. I think it's melted away. Ice pack. I thought I'd try an ice pack. No, no. For me, that does not work. That just starts all my spasms and it's no go. So it doesn't work. Um, so that's frustrating that I can't use the heat blanket at the moment. Sometimes if the pain is too unbearable and the medication isn't working with the pain, then yes, I will try and use the heat pad for a little bit, just to get some relief. But in this heat, it, I don't know, I just find it really hard. Can you tell I'm nervous? I'm playing with an elastic band. Silly, isn't it? It's only because I haven't been on for two weeks yet. I seem to have tall colitis. Funny that. Um, okay, so yeah, those are two things. No, no, that was one thing. The other thing I was going to tell you about was I'm getting some leaflets um, printed because I want to try and build up Rara's Ventures. I want more people to know about it, um, do more interviews and more product testing and visiting locations. And I want to share that with you guys, but I need to build up my subscribers. So, my, my little plan is, I'm going to get some leaflets done and I'm going to go to local busy points, not sure where yet, not planned that yet, and hand them out and try and build up like that. So, if you're watching this and you want to help spread the word, please share, please, please share, tell your friends about it. And um, if you're watching on YouTube and you haven't already and you'd like to help support Rara's Ventures, please hit the subscribe button as that will really, really help. Cool. I have finished now. I will stop waffling and let you get on with your day. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and day. Try and keep hydrated in this blooming weather. It's lovely, but it's really hot. Keep hydrated. And uh, don't forget sun cream. And I love you lots. And thank you for joining me. And sorry that I've been away so long. Mm, I'm sorry. But I'm back now. Okay. So take care. Lots of love. And I'll see you all soon. Bye. Love you lots.